All right, we, we, we got Clem's bobber cooler back, man. How's that feel? Feels very good. Simple things in life, isn't it? You know what? It's not hurting nobody. It isn't. But it I isn't. got it back. It is. You might catch you, you might catch a big fish with that. Well, you know what? I told <laughs> them this. I go, it's going to be in the paper. He took a, a veteran's ice chest away from him. It's not going to look good on your side. So Doesn't read well. No. Nope. So just bring it back to me and it'll be no problem. And they did. And they did. End of story. Well, yes, end of this end chapter. Of Hi, man. I'm over here with Clem. I just wanted to, 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 to paraphrase what he said and just make sure I got the story right. So although Clem did get his cooler back, he had made some pretty poignant and strong points yesterday that one, the park ranger that took the cooler, a.k.a whoever he was and put it in his cab he knew Clem and two he knew that it belonged to Clem so Clem's point was he took it and he knew it and he thought he could get away with it yeah that's it that's it you hit the, hit the nail on the head I just it was just sitting there there's nothing in it and he decides to take it and then what am I supposed to do